Last year in 2022, I did a video where I tested a bunch of different Skims products. I did mostly like shapewear, I tried on the viral dress, I tried on quite a few different things and I had kind of mixed opinions about it. I ended up returning everything. It's just, to me, it didn't really feel super worth it. But I've seen so many cute Skims try-ons recently that I was like, okay, you know what? I think I deserve to treat myself. Um, me never denying myself a treat ever in my life. But I really wanna find some cute kind of like loungewear, everyday basics. I didn't really try much of like the actual like clothing stuff. So I decided that I'm gonna give Skims another chance. And we are gonna test it out together and see if it's worth the money, if I think it fits well. I'll link everything from this video in the description box below in case you wanna check it out for yourself. Everything that's still available will be down there. The sizing is a little bit confusing for Skims. A lot of the size charts people say are in correct and their sizing runs extremely small in a lot of stuff especially the shapewear but I didn't get any shapewear I just got mostly like everyday basics kind of stuff but for reference I'm typically like a dead-on size extra large anywhere from like a 14 16 sometimes 18 depending on the brand and I love skims size inclusivity I think it's great um, I will say that sometimes if a brand offers extended sizing and then the sizing runs extremely small then it's not as extended as it may seem but we'll get into all of that we're gonna test it out we'll do a little try on for you and I'll let you know if maybe they've had like a redemption in my eyes because everyone looks so cute and I'm like okay I think I just maybe ordered the wrong stuff last time so we're gonna try on some bodysuits some basic t-shirts another dress some undergarments all that kind of stuff and we have a lot to cover so let's jump in all right starting off I'm feeling a little a little exposed so bear with me here but I wanted to do a couple of just like basic undergarment type of things to test out because some of these will go under a lot of the things that I'm gonna be trying on and then also I'm just curious about it so I did go for this cotton triangle bralette I think it's called yes it's called the cotton jersey triangle bralette in the color soot I got it in a 2x because according to the size chart that would be better I think I could size down because this is on the tightest clasp but also like this fits great as well well, it's $32 and it is super comfortable. It's not obviously very supportive, but I'm more looking for something because I have plenty of like bras and you want different bras for different things. This I want just for like a nice loungy, comfy, casual, like under t-shirts. And this is so comfy. I actually tried on another bra in the last video and I don't think it was as much coverage. I really like the coverage of this one. I think it's so nice and comfy. I'm definitely going to be hanging on to this. I think this is going to be a great addition something that I definitely want in my wardrobe or my closet. And then the shorts that I decided to pair with it are called the soft smoothing short. And these are more of just like a anti-chafing short. I don't think they're as much of like a shapewear, which like, thank God, cause this is so much better. I did get these in a size 2X, but I do think I'm gonna return them in size down to an extra large, which I do have a anti-chafing or chub rub or whatever you wanna call it, shorts video coming up pretty soon. So I am going to order a size down and then test these out in that video and kind of compare them to the other ones but like you know size aside this is so comfortable I love this this is exactly what I would want I believe these shorts are a five inch inseam which I think is perfect I would definitely want to do more of like a short inseam for you know shorter skirts mini skirts things like that and I think this will be perfect for that when I get the right size I love these two together I love the combo I'm gonna wear them under a lot of different things so I kind of want to start out with these because I'm probably going to be wearing these under underneath the majority of the things besides a couple other things that we'll show in a bit. But wow, these are both great. I'm thoroughly impressed with both of them. I do feel like we're off to a little bit of a better start than we were last time. The last time it was like a whole shapewear moment and it was like really like rolling down and moving all over the place. And this feels like so much easier, more comfy. I'm happy, let's move on to the next one. All right, next up we have this t-shirt and this is called the Fits Everybody t-shirt. And I got it in a size extra large in the color Jasper, I think. It's like a really pretty brown color and I wanted just like a nice basic sort of slim fitted almost like bodysuit style but without the bodysuit we'll get into that in a minute go to t-shirt but I will say this material really threw me for a loop like when I opened it I was like huh because I think I was expecting that I think they do have a cotton t-shirt as well and I thought that that's what that was it's not it's almost like an extremely stretchy workout material but it feels really really nice like don't get me wrong it feels really Really nice I just don't know how I feel about it it feels like very moisture wicking which I think would probably be great but I don't know how that would go like in the summertime and if I sweat I don't know it is a really cute shirt it fits so beautifully like I love 
love the way this fits. I think it's gorgeous. I think it looks nice with the bralette I have underneath it. I also think it would look nice with a more kind of like supportive like cup kind of bra. I think I'm gonna hang on to this. I don't know, you all will have to let me know your thoughts. The only other thing is that it's $48 and that to me just feels like a lot of smackaroonies for a t-shirt. But I've heard that these are just kind of like the go-to, like everybody needs them. And I mean, it feels unbelievable. It's such a unique material that I haven't felt before. So I 100% get the hype around it. I think it's really nice. And it's so stretchy and so comfy. And I think it would be great for summer because it's very like breathable. It's almost like if you wore like pantyhose, but they were thicker and like stretchier and softer. I don't know, it's wild. I'm just not sure, but like it is, it's so nice. Like this with like a nice pair of jeans and some sneakers, like you have a, a go-to classic outfit. And that's kind of what I'm on the hunt for in this video. So we'll see, we'll see about this one, but I wanted to try it out. So this is like 50-50 for me. Maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll return it. It'll have to kind of be a game time decision, but it is really, really nice. And I do see why people love it so much. I may try the cotton one in the future, we'll see. Okay, so this might seem like it's kind of in weird order, but it's really just like in order of how I'm trying things on. So next we're gonna try on this strapless bra, which I did unfortunately, I think order in the wrong size because it's definitely like falling down in the front here and it's like a lot more loose than I think it should be, but I can already tell I'm going to love this. This is called the wireless form strapless bra. It also comes with straps if you wanna attach the straps to it, but I am on the hunt for like a good strapless bra and I've been searching forever and I'm having such a hard time. <laughs> it's not um, that easy. And I do think I have like a wider bust. So I ordered this in a 42C, but I think I need to size down to like a 40C maybe. But I know there are also sister sizes with bras and that's very confusing. I've been getting a lot of requests honestly for years to do a bra fitting video. So I may have to do that in the future, we'll see. Um, but I want to wear this underneath some of the other pieces. So we're gonna like put the sizing aside for a second and just talk about like the actual bra itself. It does have a slight amount of padding, which I think is amazing. And it's nice and supportive right here. It almost has like a little cup, but it doesn't have any underwire, which is what I have a huge problem with. I think because I just have like a little bit of a bigger belly. If I like lean over and there's underwire, I feel like it just cuts into my rib cage and it deeply hurts me. So that's kind of like the problem that I always run into when I'm looking for a strapless bra because I want something that's gonna be nice and supportive but not with an underwire because it genuinely hurts. This one I honestly think is great. I'm gonna have to play around with the sizing. I do think it looks really nice. It feels really nice. It just needs to like be adjusted with the sizing a little bit because it feels like it's gonna fly off at any moment. I have another strapless bra in this size that fits me really well, but maybe because it's a different style, it's just not the right actual size for me. So we'll see. I'm 35 years old and I have never actually been fitted for a bra. So maybe that's something that I need to do in the future, but really cute, love this one. So let's put some tops with it. All right, so the first one is, oh my God, it's so cute. This is called the Fits Everybody Cami. And this is in the neon orchid color. I think this is like a limited edition colorway. Um, It's so freaking cute. I love. I love how wide the straps are. Like usually tank top straps start like right here, but these start over here. And I just feel like that makes a huge difference. It's really cute. It's very stretchy. It's the same material as the t-shirt that I tried on. So the fits everybody. I got it in a size extra large. I think it's the perfect size. It's very adaptable to your shape and size. So I feel like, you know, if you, depending on how fitted you want it is like where you should go sizing wise. But like my regular size is great with this. They do have a bodysuit option available and I am gonna try on a bodysuit next. Next. Um, but I, I was like, oh no, I like more of a tank top vibe. But I do think if I were to choose again, I would go for a bodysuit because this material just kind of like very easily rolls up on me. If you're someone who has a little bit of a bigger belly, it's, it's a whole thing. I just got diagnosed with SIBO. It's like, there's a lot happening. One of those things is having like a swollen belly. And so I feel like because of that, it kind of tends to push things up and that kind of annoys me. I would feel like I would probably need to be pulling it down all day long, but that aside, like this is maybe the cutest tank top I've ever tried on. I do think I'm gonna return this cause it's not 100% perfect for me, but like, I think this would be so cute, especially in the black color. There's like white. It's just like this tank top is not 100% for me, you know? And just like that, now we have the Fits Everybody bodysuit. So I love this one. This is in more of like a lilac color. I love again, how sort of like wide 
I don't know, neck this is. It is so cute, so comfortable. This is called the Fits Everybody Cami bodysuit. It's in the color Sugar Plum. It's a size extra large. It retails for $58, which is pretty pricey. And it does have like a thong bodysuit, which actually surprisingly doesn't bother me. This is so smooth and comfortable. And I feel like this would be like my solution for a lot of the cropped tank tops that I wear during summer with like shorts and jeans like this that always seem to ride up. And I can never seem to find body suits that fit me like down there because I have a really long torso but because this is so stretchy it genuinely I feel like would fit everybody. <laughs> I'm kind of like drinking the Kool-Aid a little bit and getting the hype like this is honestly so good. This feels incredible like if you've noticed throughout this video I just keep like feeling myself but I like love the feeling of the material. I feel like it looks so nice. This in like a black color with like some nice jeans is just such a go-to staple outfit. So cute. If you hear like crackles happening underneath me it's just my floor creaking but anyways um I love this I just feel like it's gonna be like a good staple I'll definitely hang on to this one just a good staple for summer I feel like it'll honestly be pretty sweat proof as well like it's almost like a thin really stretchy comfy bathing suit material I did try to take the strapless bra off with this and in this particular color you could see my entire nipple and areola with this so um you do need a bra at least with this color particularly so that's kind of a bummer I do wish that it had just like a built-in shelf bra like that would just make it mwah, like over the top perfect but I know that not everybody loves that so anyways I really like this I think this is so cute I love the color I love the fit of it I love the back I just think it's nice and simple and it's gonna be like a huge staple of mine for spring and summertime I really kind of threw this in there just as something to test out because I'd seen a lot of people talk about this particular cami bodysuit and um, now I get it like I'm a full convert and now I need multiple colors so great Love that for me. All right, the sun is starting to get a little bit crazy, so forgive any lighting changes, but um, here we have the next set that I don't think I could be more in love with if I tried. I kind of forgot about this. I'm like sort of opening the bags as I go, and I opened this up and I was like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about that, but like I saw a lot of people talking about it, very popular, so I'm gonna give it a go, and oh, my God, this might be my favorite thing so far. Like, I don't know if I've ever felt cuter in my entire life. So this is the cotton jersey material and like I fully, fully get it. I am like a cotton girly through and through. I love cotton underwear. I prefer it to like more synthetic materials and this just feels so nice. So these are the cotton boy shorts and they're in the light heather gray color. They're a size extra large. They retail for $22, which like is a little pricey when it's, you know, pretty much just underwear, but like look, and how cute these are. They're nice and high-waisted. I actually wasn't sure. I was like, do I need to size up to a 2X so it's like a little bit more high-waisted and comfy? No, honestly, go with your normal size. They're so comfortable. And then this is the Cotton Jersey logo tank. It has like a cute little kind of embroidered top that says Skims and it's like nice and stretchy and comfortable. I decided to go braless with this because like this is how I would wear it. Like if I was going to sleep or lounging around the house or whatever. I mean, I'd probably have pants on, but maybe not, who knows? And I love this like this is 100% staying this is probably the thing that I've liked the most that I've tried on so far like what's not to love it feels great as far as coverage goes like I feel very comfortable with that it's nice and high-waisted it's so so comfy and it's like weird because this is the most simple thing but I just love it anyways I would love to get this tank top just in like maybe a black and a white as well just to have because it's a great tank top I do sweat a little bit in gray so this will be more of like a lounge around the house type of thing but ah, uh, love it all right, so we knew that I couldn't do a Skims video without testing another one of these soft lounge slip dresses. And this might be the one, honestly. This might be like the dress. In the last Skims video that I did, I tested out the sort of like more long sleeve maxi version, which is equally really, really cute and like very form fitting and hugging and was an amazing material, very expensive. Um, and this is like a little bit more of a summer version and like a more kind of me version, if you will. I believe the longer version of this one was like $88, which feels very expensive for no reason. Um, and this one's $68, so still pretty pricey, but compared to some other sort of more luxury brands and like what they charge for things, it doesn't feel as bad and it's size inclusive. It's very stretchy. It's 
very comfortable. Like, I don't know how to describe this material fully, but it is, it's like soft lounge. That's exactly, you know, they kind of did something there. It's really, really comfortable. I'm not wearing a bra with it currently, and I would probably feel comfortable not wearing one, but I also would totally throw one on for this look as well. I have the anti-chafe, whatever you want to call them, smoothing shorts underneath, and I think this is so cute. Like, this would be cute with sneakers, cowboy boots, with like a little denim jacket over top, a good, nice kind of classic to have. I went with an extra large, which is my typical size. I would totally go with that. That's what I would recommend. And like, how cute is this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is such a cute dress. I feel like I have to keep it. It is expensive and I get that. I, I think that that's fair criticism, but I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. And I feel like it genuinely just makes me feel so comfortable, so confident. I love the way it looks. So this one's definitely gonna be a keep. I have one more thing to try on with this. I feel like this one has been like a little bit of hits, a little bit of misses, but like all of the misses are still hits. They're maybe just not good for like my particular body type or my preferences, but like everything's been kind of good. And I'm kind of scared for my wallet. Anyways, let's try out our last one. Okay, um, well, <laughs> I really thought I was gonna end this on a good note, but um, here I am, surprise. This is the strangest thing I have ever put on my body. Like we just really were knocking it out of the park one by one and then this came along and just humbled me deeply. This is called the cotton poplin material. Um, to me, this feels like starched sheets when you first take them out of the packaging. Does that make sense? Like, can you hear this? This is a very loud material um, and it doesn't feel good. I would actually rather wear nothing ever again to bed for the rest of my life than wear these. I don't know if it's just like a me thing, but I hate it. I hate the feel of the material. I hate the way it looks. I also accidentally ordered the wrong size in shorts. For some reason I ordered a 2X. I meant to just order my usual extra large. So that's actually my bad. Um, the shorts actually, if they were the right size and more of a kind of loungy sort of tank top. Oh, it's cute. It has a little skims thing right there. Style into more of a lounge type of thing then maybe I would like it more but I think just with this sleep top it's just an absolute no for me I, I first of all I would sweat so much in this it doesn't feel breathable at all it's like the strangest material for pajamas like it is the material of sheets in my opinion in a way I almost feel like I'm wearing like hospital pajamas like it's giving that quality to me I don't know Maybe it's just a me thing. Again, I'm trying to stay respectful of everyone else's opinions, but just this would never, ever, ever happen for me. This top is $52 and then the bottoms are $48. So to me, that's just not worth the price. Also, it's just not the right size. They also make pants, which I feel like would be even worse. So I don't know. I definitely did not uh, strike gold with this material, but I feel like so many other things have been so good. I love the soft lounge dress, love the cotton jersey material like the bike shorts or the boy shorts and the tank top. I loved the fits everybody material. I don't know if that one is 100% for me. I think I'm gonna lean more towards like the cotton end of things, but it's an amazing material if that's what you're looking for, if that makes sense. I am gonna hang on to the cami bodysuit, the lilac one. I will probably exchange the soft smoothing shorts, like the, the chafing shorts for a size down, which you will see in a future video, and then maybe keep the triangle bra let, but everything else is probably gonna get returned, including these. This was a nightmare. Let me know your thoughts and if you have any recommendations for skims down below, but I think it's actually about the same as last time. <laughs> there were definitely some real hits and some uh, real misses. Yikes. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you would purchase from Skims, if you're interested in anything that I tried on in this video, it'll all be linked in the description box below, as I mentioned before. If there are any other brands you wanna see me investigate, leave it down in the comments below as well. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you all my love and I'll see you very soon in my next video.